everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I don't usually upload on a Saturday, but today is World Card Making Day, so I thought I would share a card tutorial. So I'm going to be sharing this pop-up card. So it's six by six. I've got a belly band on this one, but the one I'm going to be making won't need it. It's just this one ended up being quite bulky and there isn't really a need for it to be this bulky. Anyway, you open it up and you have this really cute, pretty pop-up card. Very easy to make. I've gone very girly. Um, with these kind of pastel colours. I've got bunting, I've got bows, I've fussy cut these little flowers. This is all from the Let's Celebrate um, first edition paper pack. So um, a little bit of fussy cutting and then I've just put the happy birthday there and I can write a little message to and from there or alternatively you can put something on the back if you wanted to. Um, and then it will stand up nicely once it's in its kind of place because it's been closed if I open it up. There we go and it will stand there. Okay, so this is what we're going to make. Like I said, dead easy and um, I've tweaked it a little bit now. Although this is nice with the belly band, you don't have to have it. So let me bring in everything I've got here. I've got loads of pieces because I was prepping it all before. So um, it's again, it's a six by six card, but you can, the, the little um, kind of pop-up mechanism inside will fit into lots of other size cards. So once you see how I do it, it's actually very easy to change your card size. That's my front cover. So again, I fussy cut this time the little panda again. I love him, I think he's really cute. That's my piece for the inside. I'm gonna show you the mechanism for that size um, for that one that I've done, but I'm also going to make it smaller for this card because I've got another kind of um, display um, decoration, should I say, that I want to do for the inside. So all of these bits will make sense in a moment and there's lots of little fussy cut presents there that I've done. Okay, so for your card base, you want a six by six pre-made card base if you have those. If not, you want to get a piece of um, 12 by 12 card and cut it at six inches. So it's now six by 12, which is what this is. And then along the 12 inch side, just score at six. Fold it in half and there's my card base. And this is quite a flimsy um, card, this particular one, but I loved the color. But I'm gonna be matting on all of the, pretty much all of the sides. So you're gonna need three pieces of five and three quarters squared. Now these two are going inside and then this is that other piece. So this is five and three quarters and that's going on my front. Okay, so that one's gonna go like this. It's gonna be a, um, top folding card so it's going to open like so and then these pieces are going to go in there and in there okay so I've already put my double-sided tape on the back of everything so I'm going to get them all stuck down okay so that's my three sides done now and that is really really strong again if you want to do your message on the back then cut a piece of white five and three quarters squared and pop it on there but now that's reinforced that's made that a really nice um, card if you just burnish where's my just grab my bone folder there if I just score that a little bit more there you've actually got a nice card on its own just like so so it's sliding on here there we go you can just see it there okay so it's a nice top folding card just like that okay so for the inside pop-up piece if I just bring this one in here so if you see this one it comes out quite wide so an inch and a half there which is fine I, I, I love this but I've got an idea for a different kind of theme with the next one and I, I need it to be thinner so if you want to stick with this same one that I've got here then you're going to need a piece of card that is four by four and a half and along the four inch side you want to score at half an inch two inches and three and a half so you've got a half inch piece on either side and then the two pieces here are one and a half wide okay so half an inch two inches and three and a half burnish them all and then when I put the next one together it will be the same way but I will show you a little trick with that particular size. Now for the one I'm doing today, so if you like to watch my tutorials through to the end first then I would say do so so you get to see this alternative because you might want to do this one as well. So this is four and a half by four and a quarter and along the four and a quarter, sorry four and a half inch side you want to score at half an inch one and a half and three and a half. Okay, 
So just a little bit different. So I'm just going to burnish that one, which is the one to show you guys if you want to do the other style. And then this is the one that I'm doing today. So I've already burnished all of that earlier to check it all worked. So you can see now it's a thinner one, whereas that one is that thick. So you can see the difference there. Okay. Now I decorated, I'm going to get rid of the scoreboard now, I decorated um, the insides here as well. You can see there, I've just layered on some of the same paper here and also on this piece, although you can't really see it because there's lots of those flower pots there. But if you want to decorate it, so for this one here, I just, I didn't do a border, so I just measured that exact um, area there and just cut my card. So for that one, it is, um, four and a half by one and a half. So you'd need two pieces of pattern paper to cover that one. For the one that I'm doing today, I've already prepared them here. And these are the exact size. I think I may have taken a little bit off. Or did I do, no, I did do a border for that one. I wonder why I changed my mind. Anyway, it's entirely up to you. So I would say do it the same, exactly the same size. I don't know why I didn't, but anyway. So these ones here are, four and one eighth by seven eighths of an inch but one inch is what you really want and again this one here is four and one eighth by one and three quarters okay so I mean it's going to be covered anyway you're not really going to see it but I'm just going to stick those down onto so it's basically going to fold with that half inch piece at the top then you've got that one inch piece, then you've got your larger piece, and then again you've got that one inch at the bottom. So this is your bottom, that's the, that's the way you want it to be, and this is the bottom. So you're going to stick those pieces on that one and that one. So the two middle sections is where you're going to stick your pattern paper. And then what we want to do is the other two sides we're going to add some tape too, so I'm going to run some double sided tape along the bottom here. This is exactly one inch tape, so it will fit along there perfectly. Just grab, just cut that off, and then the one at the top, I've got this quarter inch one, but I'm going to hog the score line um, edge like so. Okay. So if you have, or if you decide that you're doing this one, open up your card and you will obviously put your pattern paper on here and here, so the two one and a half inch sides, these two half inch sides here, you want to pop double sided tape on and then basically line up that middle score line with the score line of your inside of your card and then just take your backing off and stick it down like so. Okay, and then when you lift it up, it will come up perfectly like so okay so that's the best way for you to get that lined up is to stick that one down there for this one here what you want to do is take the bottom one inch um, piece off first whether you're using wet glue or not um, take your backing off or put the wet glue on this piece first turn it over and you're going to line up this outer edge to the score line so I just want to make sure that I've got it in the middle which I think is about there and then stick that down Okay, and then fold this one over like so. And then just bring the whole thing over, keep that folded over and fold it down flat, like that. And that's the easiest way to pop them down and making, making sure that you get it nice and even and centered and all your angles are straight. Like so. so now when I bring that up you can see and I, that's why I like that to keep the same pattern paper because it almost then looks like it is all joined and not a separate piece of card so I really like that style and now it's just down to decoration so I did say I was doing this one slightly different now I've already got my piece here which is going to go like so right at the bottom so let's get that stuck down because then it's quite nice to work around that and you can see how everything's going to look together. Okay, get that nice and even. I might put some um, little diamantes either side of the happy birthday there as well. Okay, so that's that now done. Then what I've gone ahead and done is I've cut out lots of bits and pieces. So I'm going to have 
some bunting hanging up here. I'm going to have my panda on here. So he's going to be the piece that pops up. So when the card opens, he's going to be like that, which I think looks really nice. Now, I didn't want this one to be as bulky because I didn't think you actually needed it to be because it's already dimensional with this piece popping out. So I've got some foam adhesive here, which is really quite thin. So I'm going to use that one, whereas the last one I used was actually quite a thick adhesive, um, foam adhesive, and it was just too much. So actually, I don't need that one up that high. So you just want to stick some foam on here. I think I could squeeze one really low down there. That shouldn't go over the actual pop-up piece. And then, oh, this is very sticky, this one. And actually I'm going to pop a little bit of, I might have to pop a little bit of glue just on that piece there because it is quite flimsy. So I'm going to keep this fat. Now whatever you're having as your pop-up, don't put it completely flush with the bottom of this piece that we stuck in. Just lift it up a little bit, just like I show you in my other pop-up cards. You always want to lift it up just by, you know, a couple of millimetres because otherwise it will catch every time you open and close it. Okay, by doing it this way, it will give you a nice, look, when I close that, when it folds down flat, it's not catching in that corner there, whereas if you put it completely flat it would make a scraping sound, whereas now when I close that and it's not as bulky anymore which is good, okay? So also when you, just before you stick anything on, just flatten it down and make sure it does all line up nicely, but you can see I think that looks so great. So it's entirely up to you whether you want to go thicker or thinner, but the reason I've gone thinner is because what I want to do is have a little kind of banner or bun to, uh, like this. So I'm going to have this kind of coming up with this bunting here, or maybe that one. I don't know whether that's going to be too much. No, I think I'll have that one in the background, and I'm going to have this thinner. Yeah, I'm going to have that one there, like so. Now, what you want to do is whenever you're having anything taller in these cards, because you're sticking it. Um, in this case one inch further out, so it's actually coming out five inches. When you close the card, which is six, it will actually stick out the top of your card. So you need to play around with it. So I'm going to cut these down to four inches. So these are strips that are four by three-eighths of an inch. Okay. Now I'm doing four of these because I just want to Double, double them up, I'm sticking them together. So I've got two there that are going to be stuck together and then these two, just to make them that little bit stronger. Now if you want you can use acetate and you could even put acetate in between these two pieces of um, card, but I don't really think I need to go that far with it. I don't need to make it too, too strong, that's okay. So I'm going to just run some glue in between these and get them stuck down. Okay, so I've just reinforced those a little bit by sticking them together. Now, when those are going to be kind of stuck there, and I'm going to put presents all around them, that's why I've fussy cut all of these little presents here, so they are going to cover the bottom, but it's going to be like so. So now when that folds flat, you just want to make sure that it's not going to stick out, which they're not. Okay, so let's play around. Obviously, everybody's is going to be different, so... These bunting dies were what I showed on my Facebook um, as a little picture, a big, no, not a little picture, it's a picture actually of a load of craft stuff that my mum brought me back. But these four here are from the works, so I've just used that one there at the bottom. I might add another one in as well, I'm not quite sure. Um, and then this one here was given to me, which is that one at the top. So, okay, let's stick these down first. Okay, make sure it's nice and Kind of even like so and then this bunting I'm probably going to put some little bows on it as well will fit really nicely on there so let's just stick some glue either end like so and then this big one here I'm just going to pop some glue all around the edges and then just kind of play around Line that up and back. Okay. 
and then I've also fussy cut some birthday cakes here so I think I'm going to put one of these on the back like so, so it's just going to be in the back here. You'll see this much better in the pictures. Um, so I'm just going to pop a little bit of foam adhesive there, like so. And then I've got all these little presents which I'm just going to put around the bottom of those kind of little poles, like so. And I've got the yellow one here, I've got the pink one. Like so, so I'm going to get those stuck down. Okay, I've got two more left there, so I think I'm actually going to add them onto the front. Now, can you see it's popping out a little bit there, so I can trim that off because I'm actually going to pop some bows on this. So I'm going to just snip. So you do need to play around with it. I've just managed to get away with it. There we go. So now when that closes, yeah, you can't see it. So just keep checking it when you pop it in there that it doesn't go over the edge okay so I didn't have any bows so I've just cut some little pom-poms off of my pom-pom trim and I've put one at either end there and I think that looks really lovely and I just love the effect I've just put two little kind of matching um, pearl um, embellishments there and then on the front I just put those other two little um, presents there so when you open it up that's what you get and I absolutely love this so there's that one and that version so yeah you can create this version with this size but you have to have this really short because obviously you've come out further so this one I think is better for just building up like I have there and then do a thinner one and you can kind of go a bit higher with your decoration but there you have it two really fun pop-up cards for world card making day i hope you find time today to craft and to make some cards and if you haven't made cards before then this is a good day to start so hope you have a great weekend hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial subscribe to my channel to see more and i'll be back again soon thanks for watching bye